Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's been a busy day and uh, that's the reason why I think I'm a bit late. I'll just adjust this a little bit if I can. I uh, don't think it's quite right. Um, is that going to be okay? Still using my mobile as a selfie, but I have got an idea to get over that problem, which I'm thinking about. Um, right. Don't know whether I've got sound on or not, as the case may be. It sounds okay, hopefully. Sometimes I, I notice some swishing noises when I'm doing my recordings. I don't know what's doing it. No idea. Um, right, so... Well, um, the reason why, why I've had a, a busy morning is because I've had a trip to the eye hospital. Um, not here in where I live, in the town where I live, but somewhere else in another town. And I'm lucky to have somebody to take me in the car, which I enjoy. So I do, I'm normally housebound, so I really did enjoy the trip out in the car to the hospital. Uh, seeing all the spring growth and everything, it's very nice, that was. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I've had done, uh, I was only expecting to have a a face-to-face -face cons consultation with the usual doctors that see me about my right eye, well, both my eyes, really, but in particular my right eye. Uh, and I was surprised to be told, right, you're uh, going to go and have some laser treatment. And I said, pardon? Uh, you're going to have some laser treatment done. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. Sign here, <laughs> which I did. I've had it done before. It doesn't worry me. I can tell other people that if you need to have laser treatment, um, I, in my opinion, it's fine. There's nothing to worry about. I just went in there and I just got on with it. Um, I've had a, a, a YAG, or Y-A-G, capsulotomy. Cap, cap, yeah, a YAG capsulotomy. Oh, my voice is going a bit funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Yeah, I had caption lottery. Um, I think I'll go and pick up one of my tiny little throat thingies. Because I've got a throat in my throat. I'll be with you in a moment. So anyway, I went along there. I had it done. They said it would take a while. For it to get back to normal, um, hope you can hear me. Uh, it take a while to get back to normal, or whatever normal is normal for me. Um, come on, open up. And uh, I don't feel as I'm going to start advertising products. I'm, I'm having a nip it. Little tiny, little tiny tin, and it's called Nippets. I'm not sponsoring them. Clarifies the voice and clears the throat. Be glad if it works. Um, it wouldn't surprise me these are out of date. I hope to get on with the music in a minute. Sorry, sorry guys. I don't want to keep on hearing about my health problem. I can just get another one out. Doesn't really know. Right. Come on. Give me one more. Oh, one more and I get three. <laughs> right. Come on.
bit out of perhaps just playing as a pianist. Um, this keyboard is not really suited for playing piano. It doesn't have sustenuta pedals or anything like that. What some people call the soft and loud pedals on a piano. Shouldn't really be called that, but there are well, most people I don't know do. Um, so consequently, it doesn't respond in the way that you would with a normal piano. And of course, it hasn't got enough notes. In fact, I'm missing quite a chunk down here. And I keep when I'm playing that with just now, I wanted to keep going down there, and there wasn't any more to to, to go down to. Anyway, so um, I just oh that was. Um, I have to stop and think what I was playing now. Um, these foolish things. That was these foolish things. And uh, I used to play it on the piano about 60 odd years ago. Um, just one of those things that I used to do. Uh, I'm fiddling about here, trying to sort something out. I haven't practiced again a week. So I don't know what I'm doing.
Well, that was um, my interpretation of the Deadwood Stage, sung by Doris Day on a recording many years ago. Um, and it's been busting around in my ear all week, that tune. Um, I haven't got the music for it, just played it by ear, really, to be honest. Did, it, did have a key change in there, which I did a couple of times. Um, just something that's been bothering me all week. Um, let's get rid of my bit of paperwork here. Put it down there. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to play from the music with almost one eye. Um, um, certainly not on the thing that's in front of me. This came out of my cabinet. A rose in a garden of weeds, but as I can't see it, I'll have to leave it. Last week I tried to play A Rainy Night in Rio. Sometime or other I'm hoping to play it again. Um, because I don't think I did it too well last week. Um, I've got a Riva Dirty with a turnover page that's come out of a cabinet. Um, it's a... Oh, look at this. This is posh. Not really... Um, I hope you can maybe see that. It says in reverse, obviously, a professional copy. Oh, I say professional copy. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because years and years ago, music, cheap music publishers, the publishers who, who, who do all this music that you hear, even, even today's music, um, used to give it out to people that they thought would um, play it for them on the next time they're on the radio or whatever. Uh, this one's called a Riva Um I'm sure you know what it is or what it sounds like. I can't open the page now. Um, right. Written in... It's got a turnover page. Yeah, I thought so. Well... I don't know whether I can, I'm holding it one. Let's see if I can read what's on this page. on the notes. Oh, we do have fun here, don't we? <laughs> well, it's not the Arivi Dirty that I know. I'll tell you why. Because the other Arivi Dirty is Arivi Dirty Roma, and that's the difference. So, this is a tune that maybe didn't get all that popular just called Arriva Dirty and it's a professional copy hoping that people would play it and maybe they didn't. It's got 1952 on it. Um, I don't seem to recall it. Um, I certainly remember Arriva Dirty which used to go something like this. Hold on while I just change my settings here. Um, yeah, Arriva Dirty if I remember would go something like this.
dirty aroma. The other one, well, not quite sure really. I'll see if I can find time to work on that sometime. Um, yeah, it can't sing too well on my music. It, because this one hour, they did, they put three different lots of drops in. So um, it did all sorts of funny things to my eye uh, for a while. And then they shot this laser at, at me. <laughs> but not from the other side of the room. <laughs> okay, so what do I do next? I have no idea. I've been, I've been told it's um, the 50th anniversary of um, Abba's Waterloo uh, at the Eurovision Song Contest. I've no idea whether I've got um, a setting on here that I can find quickly that's got anything to do with Waterloo. Um, I've got a little little spin wheel here that I'm going round and round with until I get the letter W just to see whether there's an inkling of Waterloo cropping up on it. Um, Waterloo. Um, no, I uh, don't think so. Uh, hold on. Ah! Huh. I've got something called Waterloo Jive. I've no idea whether it's similar. Let's just uh, see what happens when I put the rhythm on.
Um, I'm trying to remember what that tune was called. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, depending on the style. Yeah, after I've finished playing a tune, I have to stop and think what, what the name of it is. Yeah, Penning on the Style, sung by Lonnie Donegan years ago. And of course, I had a little go at Waterloo, but not very well done. Um, um, yeah, there was a bit I missed out. I, I've got it running around in my head now, the bit that I left out, but I couldn't think of it at the time when I started to play it. Not playing by music either, so just doing it as it comes. I don't know where anyone's listening to this. Um, uh, can't tell. There's no little things and dings coming up on my screen here. So I can't tell. Um, uh, says I've got a slow connection again. But there we are. Um, what else can we do before I leave it at this? Um, I don't know how long I've been playing really. By the way, just in case we need a time check and a date. It's Tuesday, that's Tuesday. It's Sunday, the 7th of April, and at the moment it's uh, just gone quarter past six UK time in the afternoon, late afternoon. Uh, what can I do just to finish off? Um, just don't know. Um, I can't see anything on this little scroll here that uh, I've done that Waterloo jive. I didn't expect that to come out like that, to be honest. Um, let's see. Uh, can't find anything on there really. Uh, it means anything to me at the moment. June call will be in love forever. Disco teens, it says. Uh, we stand united. Organ ballad. Well, I don't know. I've never played an organ ballad before. I don't know what to play on it. No going to ask me what that was called because I made it up as I went along. Um, something I used to always do when I couldn't think of something when, when I was playing in the band. Um, it's 
I don't, I can't explain how I managed to do things like that, but there we are. So if you want to think about of a, giving it a title, <laughs> have a go. Um, on here, on my screen, it says it's supposed to be suitable for a song called We Stand United, but I've never heard of that. Um, ah, it might well be something to do with uh, a football song. But anyway, I made up something as I went along. So there we are. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, incidentally, that style was organ ballad, something I don't normally use as an organist. Strange that uh, once I went on keyboard, I sort of left the organ sounds of, um, back in, in the past. Uh, but I did enjoy being an organist. I still think the organ um, is a wonderful instrument, but um, it's unfortunately it's not that easy to play for some people playing three keyboards because you've got well sometimes more than that uh, sometimes you've had three up here and one down on the bottom where you play notes with your feet so it's not easy to play organ and of course music used to be stuck up there sometimes and you'd be having a double job to read it well i did okay Thanks for watching, guys, and listening. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Because that's the only thing that's left to do that's good for you. Have fun. Because you just don't know what's around the corner. Have a great week. See you next Sunday, hopefully. And maybe my eyes will be a bit better and I'll be able to uh, play some tunes from the actual notes written on the page. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye for now.